you guys, we seem to be in the salad days of blush. It seems like everybody's coming out with blush, and I'm here for it. I think blush and lips can kind of change everything, and you can leave the eyes pretty neutral. And I'm going to prove my point in the body of this video, where at the end, I'm actually going to change lip colors a couple of times, so you can get a good idea. But here's what's going on. There are 22 shades now of the Rouge Dior looks like this, but do not be fooled, my friends. This is actually different than the older one. So there's silver here, where usually it was their eyeshadow palettes, and this is an old one where there isn't any silver. This package, the new package, a little bit bigger, and the print is a little bit bigger on the new one. So a little bit different in the packaging. I don't know that the formula is different. They didn't say. Dior isn't exactly, you know, <laughs> transparent. I don't know how many new shades. I'm sure they wrote it somewhere, but certainly not on the site. And speaking of the site, when I knew these were coming out, I was going on the site over and over again, and finally the colors showed up, but they weren't available yet. And I could look at it by, you know, there's an icon that says exclusive, meaning just at their site, or not. I could look it up by satin, matte. What was the other one? Let me think here. Satin, matte, natural, shiny, and a holographic. There wasn't actually anything under natural, but those are the categories. And then I could see the blush. There would be a picture of it. And they did something to their website over the last four days. I kept on going up to the website to get information because I swear when I chose these colors, there was a description of what each shade was, but I cannot find it now. And there's no pictures up. As of half an hour ago, an hour ago, um, I already shot the video, so it was a little while ago. No pictures at all. At first there was, and then I clicked another color and nothing, and every single color I clicked after that, nothing. So I don't know what's going on. I know that there are 22 shades. I always thought that Dior had a pretty small selection because whenever I was ordering something from Dior, I thought, well, while I'm here, let me investigate some more blushes. And I think there was like six, couldn't have been more than 10. And I was at Neiman Marcus a couple of weeks ago and they told me they had all of them and I think it was six. So that's a pretty big jump. Even if it was 10, from 10 to 22, pretty darn big jump. I wanted to get three colors, but the third color wasn't in yet, so everything didn't come out at the same time. Two of the colors that I wanted were available at the same time, and that's why, actually, I was going back to the website, because I thought, why did I pick up this color? What is that about? It looks a little warm to me. And I don't like a warm, but maybe I was in the mood of being generous. Let me try a warm. And the other one I got is this one. So this is Sensual Satin and Densate, or Dansante Satin. And yeah, I want to do a little bit of swatches, but because the weather continues to be so disagreeable, this morning around 8.30 the sun started to come out, and I thought, yeah. The weather gods are with me, and I'm going to be able to shoot this video so you can really get an accurate idea of what's going on. And hopefully this will be semi-accurate, but no, not the same. So this is Rose Dentel, which came out last year, my favorite blush, and it was a limited edition. So we're going to give that a swatch. It doesn't look like much, but on the face it's just a dream. You know, since I have it out here just for kits, I'm going to do the Lancome um, Mille Glace Honey Glaze because this is a shape shifter. It looks like one thing and then it looks like another thing. And there she is right there. Now let's do Charnel, which to me Charnel is, is quite warm. And here is Charnel. Sensual Satin, and this is an interesting color, you guys, because sometimes it looks pink, and sometimes it looks peach. So, peach, in the moderate it looks like peach, but when I look at it down, 
but when I'm looking in this mirror right here, it looks more pinky. And here it is right here, and it's looking more pinky. But earlier, it looked more warm. <laughs> and Densante, which is what I'm wearing right now. And there's the Densante. Densante. So there's some swatches for you to, to look at. I felt that this would be cool, but after I swatched it, I think it might be warm. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard when it's cloudy to really get a sense of what something is. So let's go ahead and put on the face, and then I add some more foundation and put on some more. Again, this is the lighter color, and I'm thinking, huh, maybe it is warm. Let's get into the rest. So let's just go on with these two beautiful shades. And the reason I was looking again last night is I thought, why did I buy this? What is this? And I also got this, which ah, I really wanted to do something quite nude. All right, we're going to put this on the face, and then I'm going to put on some more foundation and do the other color. And I always use a squirrel. Look how much picks up. Now I'm going in and in and in, but I'm just saying, if you don't use a squirrel brush and you use a goat brush, be a little careful, because goat will pick up more. I'm going to take some off on my hand and see what's going on. It is scented. Are we surprised? We are not. And, oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe I should put a little less on. I'm just going to wipe this off and do some blending. And I can see that sheen coming up on this cheek. Really pretty. Just going to take a beauty blender and kind of go around the corners. There's nothing on this. And it hasn't been damp for a couple of days. But I think I overdid it a little bit with this one. But it gives you an idea of what the color is. And you can still see that sheen, that it's picking up a little bit, right? I do have to even this up. This is what it looks like on the face. I do think I have a little bit more on this side, but all the better for you to really get a sense of what the color is. And I changed my light, so this looks a little more human. This is what it looks like in slightly better light. I'm not as blown out here. Now let's go on with this one. But oh, you know what? Before we do, yesterday I shot a video that is going to post after this. And it is this Laura Geller palette, which broke in the mail. Looks like this. And I'm actually wearing the great grayish brown color today, and that's all. But this blush color is so, so pretty. When I shot the video, I was saying, I don't know about this color. And as the day went on, I thought, this is an ideal color for me. So that is the color of that. And I just wanted to do a nice little swatch before I swatched the other color from Dior. Now this, I think, is going to be lighter, but that Laura Geller in the palette looks super, super light. So you just, you just never know. Okay, it, it's much lighter. It's so right here is the new Dior, and this is the Laura Gallo that I tried yesterday, and you will see tomorrow or the next day. Another brush, another squirrel brush. This is from Sue Q, and again, it just picks up easily. I like to pick up a lot, and again, scent it. I like to pick up a lot so I'm evenly coated, and then you know, tap off in my hand. Yeah. I think this is absolutely going to work for me. I did put on a little bit more foundation, you guys, so the cheek is pretty much blanked out. And yeah, this was the one I thought, I want a nude shade in a powder, because I feel that I have in liquid, but I still do love 
a powder blush. It's just creams and liquids have that more natural look, but technology has gotten better and better and better with powders. And I just, I wanted a powder that was kind of nude. The other color I wanted to get is called Grage, and they don't show them on models, but I still might try to actually get that one. I just didn't want to wait a couple of more days to do this video. So this shade is, I don't know, this is more to my liking. I think it is better for my skin tone and because it's more like my skin tone, looks a little bit less like makeup, just by virtue of the color. But when you do something like this, where it's kind of nude, you can, of course, leave your lip as, as you want. And I have a Dior Lip Shine, and I will put the color down below because I can't read it. But this was a limited edition case. If it's still available, I will link it, but so elegant. And this color is probably something like nude. It doesn't impart much. But I do feel that, you know, the eye is very neutral, the cheek is very neutral. With something like this, you can go for a kapow color on the lips, like a red or a violet. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a little something to show you what we can do. If you are new here or if you're not and you never watch to the end oftentimes I change up the lip because the lip can change everything and that's what we're going to do right now so this is from Merit and it's called Cabo and it is an orange now I'm pretty neutral but I feel like I'm neutral cool so this will be interesting right it doesn't matter that my cheeks are a little bit on the cool side and my eyes are kind of the grayish color. It just, boom, doesn't it just, okay, it's summer, or it just adds some vibrancy. So there's an orange, Cabo, Merit. And these are really comfortable. When I first tried these, I thought they're too heavy, but now, my I don't know, my taste in lip products has changed recently, and I'm loving it. Now another way to go is this Victoria Beckham color, which is one of their more recent releases, but not new. Look at that. <laughs> it just makes me happy. That's all there is to it. And I did shoot a video with a couple of new Victoria Beckham products and some other things, but I haven't edited it yet, but that's this. And when this line first came out, it was very much like Victoria Beckham's aesthetic, which is very, very neutral. And I think about maybe nine months ago, six months ago, she came out with some brighter colors. So brighter lips and brighter cheeks. And again, I think both colors work when you're going so neutral with everything else. And that's gonna wrap up this video, you guys. Just in time, the leaf blower for somebody is here. Thanks so much for spending some time with me. I really hope it was helpful to you, and I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe and smart, and I'm wishing you good health.